Hi, I'm Greg Barnes, and welcome to this short video on Center Domain Reputation Enhancement. I'm a technical marketing engineer for Cisco Secure Email. So, Center Domain Reputation has been around Cisco Secure Email since our Async OS 12.0 release. It's something that we worked with in Talos um, to combat bad emails that were coming in from domains from shared IP spaces is the real reality. And we've only seen an evolution with the pandemic to more and more shared spaces. So as a lot of the world moves into Microsoft uh, 365 and Google Mail, Gmail, right, we decided that we need to further simplify uh, Cinder maturity. So sometimes there might have been a little bit of confusion about how we were going to set that up. And it has always been the case um, that we have actually had Cinder maturity baked into the reputation of the incoming email. Uh, now it's just kind of further clarify that it's no longer necessarily, you know, based just on the who is, uh, right? There is several factors that Talos um, looks at to determine uh, sender maturity. Uh, but the largest update that we're going to have is now we have the ability to block uh, these bad domains coming from these shared spaces at the SMTP conversation level. So what does that mean? Uh, when they set up their connection to, to uh, communicate with your Cisco secure email server, we will respond with a 500 error hard fail um, so they know that you know we do not want to be talking to that domain. It'll simplify your space from your message tracking or even if you're doing a threat response, you're not going to be flooded uh, with this, all of these emails that we would block later in our pipeline. Uh, so just to call out, Cinder Maturity is uh, limited to 90 days. And again, I wanted to hammer home the fact uh, that Cinder Maturity is used to calculate Cinder reputation. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video. And please check out our other videos on our 14.0 updates.